Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. Um, I hope that my camera is set up correctly this time. I know I've been having issues with it, but I just tested it and it looks good to me, so I'm going with it. Excuse the mess over here. That's just my mess. <laughs> just don't look at that. Just look at this. Um, I have a haul video. I have a lot of stuff. Um, I have stuff from before I went on my trip. So if I even get to that stuff, I don't even remember what I had. Then I've bought stuff since I've been back from my trip. I think I've been back maybe two weeks now. And I have bought quite a bit of stuff. And this is the first chance I've gotten to do a video. So um, it's a lot and I'm going to just do it. I'm probably going to do it in two videos. Hopefully they won't be too, too long. I'm not timing them because, well, I'm just not going to bother. <laughs> so I'm going to get going and do this pile that I have here. And then the other pile that I have will be in another video. I don't know when you'll see this because I have two haul videos lined up, ready to go. I had recorded them and planned on scheduling them to... Um, to be put out while I was gone and I forgot to do that. It didn't happen. So they've been sitting there. So it'll be a while bef between the time that I'm recording this and the time that you see it, but who cares? That doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Let's get on with the haul. All right. <laughs> this I found at a thrift store the other day. Um, we went on a little road trip and I ended up at, uh, one or two thrift stores that were new to me thrift stores. Um, this does have the first page torn out and I thought, oh, well the dolls won't be in there. Um, but I kept looking and here's one. The rest of this book, there's another one, is not um, cut out of. But then here's some that were cut out and um, the dolls and their clothes. So I think it's all here. It's just that some of them were cut out. They were cut out very well, I must say. Um, and then the rest of the book is still intact. So it, these aren't vintage, these are, these are newer. There's this publishing company that makes these kind of paper dolls. But when I see them, and especially for $1.99, I pick them up. Um, $19.95. But I, th I think that... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all my paper dolls yet. Whether I'm going to actually use them in a journal or if I'm going to just collect them. Right now I'm collecting them. So we'll see. I'm going to run out of space here because my floor is covered. Uh, these are not... This is not part of a house. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start with some of this stuff. Oh, that's not mine. <laughs> this is not for junk journaling. This is a Mexican pottery piece, a little owl. He was in a, a dollar bin. I just picked him up because he's cute. I liked him. I have a little menagerie up here on my um, <laughs> my lamp base. I, I Little critters that I've been collecting from here and there. Uh, this is some yarn. I don't do much with blacks, but I thought this would be, I don't know, it'd be an interesting tag topper, I think. So I got that one, and then this one is a silver, and it's like shimmery. So I thought that that one would be kind of fun too. I feel like my camera is like right here. It's not far up at all. So I feel like if I go here, it's going to be like super close. I, don't worry about it, Mary. Just, just do your thing. This is my husband's book. <laughs> I gotta give that to him. Um, see, I take the bags and I throw them in my room 
And if there happens to be something in the bag that uh, doesn't belong with my junk journal haul, well, it gets stuck there for a while. Um, this one... This was an estate sale. I can't remember how much all of this was. I'll try to remember prices as I go. I think she threw this in. I don't know. It's cheesecloth. This, this estate sale, she had a huge, big craft room. I've gone to a few lately that have had big craft rooms. And she did painting, and I think she might have... Yes, she did some quilting. Painting and quilting. Tons and tons and tons of paint. Oh my goodness. I did get a few. I'll show you those. Um, I got these little rings. I thought that these would be a good size to do little tassel dangles in their different colors. I picked up this tape. It's just like painter's tape, but it's narrow, and I thought that might be useful for holding things down or masking something or something. It's all kind of wonky, but that's all right. It's the tape part. It looks like that's fine. And then these were the paints that I picked up. They had them, I believe, 50 cents a bottle. I didn't want to pick up a ton because, you know, when you start doing that, then you're, you're overwhelmed with a whole bunch of stuff, you know. Um, so I got these. One, two, three. Yeah, there's four dollars worth here. So there's a green. The name of the color is plaid. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's it's green. And a pink. Oh, that's not the name of the color. I don't know what the plaid means. It's baby pink. Hauser green medium yellow citron I like that color pure orange I tried to pick colors that I didn't think that I already had this is a silver bling ultra fine glitter paint I thought that might be kind of fun we'll have to play with these paints one day yellow okra um this is a blue, blue, this has never been opened. Ultra blue deep. And hydrangea. So that was that was a pretty good deal. Also at that place, um, these titanium scissors. She did charge me three dollars for them, but that's okay. I think that they're worth it. First of all, they're pretty. <laughs> And second of all, they're titanium, and they feel like they're pretty sharp. So I got those. Um, this, this, I want to say something about this estate sale, people. I shouldn't, but just to give you an example of, of some of the things that I run into going to estate sales. Um, I brought this stuff up, and... She starts adding it all up and everything. And she got to this. This pile of fabric scraps. There was a lot of fabric, a lot of fabric pieces. Um, most of it was marked in some way or another. These were... Just I took these out of bins and they weren't necessarily marked. So she got to this and she had these and she pointed to another girl and she says, how much, what should I charge for this? And she says, $5. So the cashier looks at me and she says, $5, is that okay? And the person who she asked about the price was walking away and she says, yes, it's okay. <laughs> like... The customers aren't allowed to disagree on a price or anything. I was, I, I really wanted to at that point say, no, just keep them. If she's going to be snooty like that, just keep them. But the price was okay with me and I did want the fabric, so I took it, but kind of peeved me a little bit. 
And now talking about this, I remember this, the wholesale came to $24. And so I said to her, oh, would you take, can you make it 20? I didn't think that was unreasonable. I thought that it was, um, I do, we do that a lot at estate sales. You know, you bargain, you try to get a better price. And she says, no. And she says, would you pay 25? And I said, nope. And at that point, I was really peeved. I was like, you know, you could just say no. You don't have to have an attitude. And so I made a note of the name of the estate sale company, and I will not be going back to one of their sales because other people that I go to the estate sales, they'll work with you. I'm not unreasonable. I don't ask for silly prices. Um, if something is priced way too high for me, I just don't buy it. Um, but I, I didn't like the, it was the attitude, you know, the, the whole attitude. I understand on the first day of a sale, you don't like to lower your prices. I get that. I've been to enough sales. I know that, but it's the attitude. So I was, ah, I didn't, I wasn't happy with this sale, but I'm happy with the things that I got. So that's all that really matters. <laughs> Butterfly fabric. I don't know what's drawing me to butterfly fabric lately, but something is, and I've been buying a lot of it for whatever reason. Um, these strips of this really pretty shabby chic. I, I don't know. I just thought that they were like super pretty and they're just strips. These would be great for, um, the binding, the, not the binding, the, oh geez, I'm losing my my mind <laughs> the spine to go along the spine and then there were these panels I imagine she was going to be making a quilt with these um a whole bunch of birds look at these and nests and eggs and feathers and so pretty so I grabbed a bunch of those not quite sure how I'm going to use them because of the size is a little bit weird but um, you know, maybe I could find the right size book and use them on the cover or something. I don't know. I just thought these were pretty. So I got a couple of those. Um, some more of these. This one is a butterfly and a flower. And then there were f more flower ones and butterflies, birds. This one's got dragonflies. That's pretty. That one is sewn. Oh, she stitched. She stitched this border on. I guess that was going to go between the pieces on the quilt, I'm guessing. And then look at these. I was standing there and some other lady had pulled down um, a container off of a top shelf and she says, oh, there's more fabric in here. And she was just a customer. And I was like, oh, well, let me see. And it was all these. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh, that's so pretty. I don't know if these are Tim Holtz or not. They remind me of Tim Holtz. They look like they could be Tim Holtz, but I don't know. I, I want to say I'm pretty sure that they are, but... I don't know for sure, so I don't want to, I don't want to really say it. So that was $5 for this stack of things. Little, little bit on the high side for me, but I really liked them. So I was in a buying mood that day, so I got them. And then in addition to the, at the same place, was all of this. This I thought was a really good buy. This is a whole container of Hero Arts bug stamps for three dollars. Looks like there's some ink in there too. And this has has this been opened? Yeah it has been opened. But it doesn't look like any of the stamps were used. Look at all these. 
butterflies, ladybugs, all kinds of things in here. Look at them all. Yep. And an ink pad that has not been opened. It looks like it's just black. But how cool is that? For three bucks. I've been to thrift stores where they'd be selling these for a dollar a piece. So that's why <laughs> when I go someplace, I don't mind paying five dollars for this because this was three. You know what I mean? It's, it evens out, so it's okay. Other places I go and everything is high and I just don't buy anything. But that's, you know, that's the beauty of it is I don't need anything, so we'll fix that later. <laughs> so if it, if the prices are too high, I just pass. Um, this was originally six and they sold it for three. And these are just strips of blue fabrics. I think I'm going to end up doing a blue and white journal. I'm accumulating a lot of blue stuff for some reason. Sometimes I just gravitate towards something. Butterflies, blue, I don't know. And it just, it just happens that way. Palette paper. Perfect palette for acrylic and oil paints. Now, I'm not an artist. I, I have don't use paints very much at all. So I've, I've never seen this before. If you're an artist and you use paint, you probably are um, very well aware of this. But it's like a glossy paper that you use as a palette to mix your paints on. Isn't that cool? And it was almost a full, almost a full pad for a dollar. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm sure at Hobby Lobby these are probably really expensive. And this nice palette for a dollar. Originally somewhere, five dollars. I wanted a metal palette. Mine are little, little flimsy plastic ones, which are fine, but I don't know. It was there, so I got it. Okay. That was that estate sale. I guess I should have just stuck this stuff back in the bag. No, if I do that, I'll never put it away. Oh, this is not a thrift store. <laughs> Dollar Tree. I went in because I needed to get a new water bottle because my bottle stopped spritzing for some reason. So I also picked up some baby wipes, which are always handy. And not for junk journaling, but they had um, shuttlecocks for a dollar or dollar twenty-five probably. They're probably not super good quality, but we pulled out our badminton thing for a, a cookout that we had a couple months ago, and I only had one of these, and so that's for that. <laughs> and Dollar Tree stamps, which are, sometimes they have like really fun ones, and I like these. So I've got teacups and some roses. So don't forget your local Dollar Tree if you have them. Oh gosh, another no, <laughs> non-junk journal items. A book. I don't think I ever read this. So I bought it to read. And this is elastic cord for 50 cents. I figured I might try one of those, um, I guess, traveler's notebooks where you have the elastic cord and you just stick the signature underneath it. They're pretty cords, so I thought that would work well. Okay, this was an estate sale I went to yesterday. Actually, this was this morning. This was the only thing we got at the estate sale. It was just a couple miles away from us. So we ran to it real quick. And I got these two decks of cards for 50 cents. Woohoo! <laughs> that was my big sale. This estate sale had rather high prices on things, but um, they gave me this for... They had it priced at eight. They gave it to me for six. And what it is, is it's a slide viewer. 
So you you take your slides and you put it in there. And then um, when it's plugged in, this one's electric, you turn it on and you can see, um, oh, it's really dirty. You can see the, the picture on the slide. I had bought one of these that was um, not electric and the light bulb was burnt out so it didn't work. I couldn't find the uh, light bulb the size that I needed so that was kind of a waste but this one I did check and it works so um, I have bought slides in the past and I just wanted to know what was on them just out of curiosity um, I don't think I, I don't know what I would do with the pictures that's on them but it was just something I wanted to see so I've been looking for one of those so I was happy to find that one and this person was a quilter and um, they had some quilts there. You know what? I need that bag. They had some quilts there for only $30 each. I didn't buy one because I don't really need any quilts. <laughs> they were really pretty and I was really surprised to see them still there. Um, But anyway, she also had, I just need to clear this stuff off of here a little bit. Make some room. Um, she also had a few pieces that were started. This is a good size piece and it's all these little squares. There's some, a little bit of lace. There's a little bit of eyelet. And it's all in whites and neutrals. And I thought this would make a beautiful, look at these pieces, a beautiful journal cover. This was $3 for this big, huge piece. And there was another piece that was colorful. And I was debating which one I wanted to get. Why I thought oh, I could only get one. I don't know. I should have bought both of them. But I ended up with this one. And it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to to play with it and make a cover out of this. So that was that was like my big my big buy of the day. Actually, not really, because at the same place I have something else I'm going to show you that I got. But I also got this book. Um, it's not in the best shape. Uh, let's see if there's a date on it. 1942 and you can see it's ripped and stuff so I think that this would be good for collaging there's some really cool illustrations in here and it was a dollar so I figured all right for a dollar I can get this and it's not like I said it's not in the best shape so it's not really worth anything somebody wrote their times tables in the back of the book um, so I don't have a problem cutting this up and the cover's in really good shape you know it's a little bit worn but that's okay it adds to the character in my opinion so I may even use the cover of it as a journal cover I think that would be fun a fun journal so at that same estate sale alright let me move this because <clears throat> At that same estate sale. I'm not going to be able to get this underneath the camera, but there's this <sighs> this basket. I can't, I don't even know how to show you the size of this basket. It is it's about 12 or 13 inches tall. Um, it's like this jute, I don't, I don't even know, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, it is full, full. If can you see in there? I don't know if you can see in there, of fabric scraps, <laughs> and they are. Some of them are, um, they're quilt pieces and they're pieced. I think that's what you call this. Somebody told me one time. 
they're pieced like this. So, you know, the, the beginnings of a quilt. And this is what the, the quilts that they were selling were similar to this in that they were um, like squares pieced together. They, they weren't like um, real fancy applique quilts or I don't know what you call it when the quilts uh, form like a picture or something. I don't know what kind of quilts those are called. I don't know anything about quilting. My mother quilted. My sister-in-law quilts, but I don't. So in this basket, this basket is chock full of all of these squares. Some of them, like I said, are pieced. I don't know what the heck she was doing with this one. But all different colors. They're no bigger than these. What is this? This is like three and a half inch squares. Um, but they're all different colors. All different patterns. So there's all these that are already pieced together. But there's also piles. I mean this thing is, this is deep. This, this goes down a long way. Piles of all these different, oh my gosh, I can't even show them all to you. It's crazy. I mean, way down in there. Can you see it? I don't know what you can see, but uh, I'm putting these back. Uh, there's a lot in here. I can't pull them all out. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. If you have any ideas or suggestions for what to do with three and a half inch square fabric pieces, let me know because I definitely uh, have a lot to work with here. Um, gosh, where do I put this? All right, I hope I hope I I showed that to you well enough. That was really cool. All right, what do I got here? Oh, I forgot about these. These are from before my trip, so I forgot I had these. Um, <sighs> nice big jar of buttons for $4. That's a really good price on these buttons. So I can't wait to take these to my mother's and go through them. I can kind of see that they're not super old. There's a lot of common buttons, shirt buttons, plastics in here, but you never know what might be in the middle of a button jar. That one's older. You just, you just don't know what's in there. And then I believe this was at the same uh, thrift store. This one's two dollars. I think this is the thrift store that they they have like jars of buttons, but usually they're priced like this would normally be priced like ten dollars. So when I saw these for the prices that they had on them, I I grabbed them. Um, again, don't know what's going to be in there. That one could be older, but it's going to be fun to find out. Also, they had this bag of trims for a dollar fifty. I'm not sure what's in here, but I figured there's more than a dollar fifty's worth in here. So we have this. That's pretty. That's a little different. I like that. All these containers of this trim and stuff, I have to go through these and rewind them so that they'll fit in my in my storage. It's, it's a bit of a job. All right, so we have this white. That's pretty. We have this little gathered one here. That's really pretty. And some pink satin ribbon. This one is a little gathered off-white and a gathered white and a green 
It's like hem tape. We have two, I don't know if they're the same or if they're different. Silver, are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. So I have all this silver, that's pretty. I like that, I'm gonna use that on something. And this big piece here of this eyelet. That's pretty. So I think that this, this is definitely worth $1.50. This, I believe, is an estate sale. Yes. So I bought this little bag of buttons. Um, I do not know how much these were. They had a, a lot of bags of buttons like this. It might have been like 2 or $3 each. But a lot of them I could tell didn't have too much in them that I was interested in. This one I picked up because, yeah, this had these Greek symbols in it. This is the evil eye. So these are for my Greek journal and there's enough to share with my granddaughter for her journal. And it had these animal buttons. Now these are just plastic, newer, you know, nothing fancy buttons. Oh, there's some, ooh, 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 let me look at that. So they had these in there, but these are fun if you're doing, you know, some kind of an animal journal or something. I just noticed this one. This is one my mother's going to want. That one's very pretty. That's old. This one, uh Thought maybe Bakelite, but maybe not. We'll have to test that and see. There's some. See, so there's some older buttons in here. Look at that one. That's cool. This is plastic. Um, this is definitely a military button because it has the uh, button company name on the back. That's older. Ooh, that one's that one's something she'll want that one so I think that this was a good bag now I'm kind of kicking myself I wish I had bought maybe some more of the bags because some of these I don't know maybe maybe not These are corroded, and my mother has said when they start getting like this, you have to separate them from your other metal buttons because this will spread. I don't know if she's going to be able to clean this up or not. There's two of them here together in this bag, so um, I'm going to leave them in the bag, and we'll see what she says about that. Um, she is quite the expert on cleaning buttons and what you can do with them and what you can't do with them. So these are either, this is glass. That's really pretty. This is a good bag. It's got actual old buttons in it. Um, so I don't know if she can clean these up or if these are going to have to be tossed. She won't keep them if they can't be cleaned up. So we'll see. I think she'll like looking in this bag though. I think there's enough in here to be of interest. All right, that's a good one. And I'm going to keep those out because those are for my grease journal. Uh, I just grabbed this little kitty applique. I thought it was cute. These watercolor pencils. I don't know why I keep buying these. I've got like a ton of them. <laughs> but 
But they were only $2 and they're brand new. They haven't even been used. And this cute little book, the Shakespeare birthday book. I just saw it sitting on the shelf and I grabbed it. Just, I think it was like a dollar. Um, so I haven't even really looked at it too much. Um... There's no date in it. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so it's like a calendar, like a book where you would write people's birthdays in. And somebody has written. Now, the handwriting tells me that this is probably, I don't know, 20s, 30s? Uh, there's no date in here at all. But look at the paper. And you know, it's kind of falling apart. So, I don't think I'll mind cutting this up. It might be older than that. I don't know. It's not, this part isn't in the best shape. So I don't know if I would use the cover or not. But these pages are awesome. Some little kid got a hold of it. Okay. And I bought this. Just because it's cute. One more, no, a couple more things. I don't know how long this video has been. Do we care? Turn it off and come back and watch it again when you have more time. Um, so this one was, I just picked up the other day at uh, a different thrift store than I usually go to from our, on our road trip that we did, our little day trip. Um... And the reason that I got it, I did pay $5 for it. The case is worth $5, almost. Um, but I got it because this bag is in here. I did not look at the details of this bag. But it's Valentine's stuff, which is not my thing. But, but, oh, look at that, it's a little doily. It had these... Now, these are, look like they're cut from scrapbook paper, which is okay. They're little old-fashioned Valentines. They are repros. They are not originals. But look at how pretty some of these die cuts are. You know, these don't have to be used for Valentine's Day. Little cherubs, angels, whatever they are. Aren't those cute? I like these. Then there's some labels. Cute. Yeah, these are from some paper pack or something. But that's why I bought this, was for these Valentine things that I saw. Again, not because I'm particularly into Valentine's Day, but I like the old-fashioned looking stuff. And I don't always want to use real old Valentines in my journals because... I don't know. I feel like they should be saved for who knows what. Yeah. You know, not everything is great, but... <laughs> I don't know between the these little 
die cuts and the case itself. I think this was all overall worth five dollars. So, all right. So there's just a whole bunch of those. What's this one? That's cute. A bunch of die cuts. Let's see what else is under here. This is. That was the package that they were in. Okay, so they were K and Company die cuts. So that's cool. What is this? Someone made? Oh, look at it. Someone made this. Oh, look. Oh, from all the kids. How sweet is that? I don't, I'll have to go through all of this and figure out what I really want to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Oh, look at all these Valentine's Day cards. They're not, these are like unused. What's this one? This is another K and Company cards and envelopes. That's like the one she made. Or no, maybe she didn't make it. No, she didn't make it. It came in this package. So it looks like this package has those cards and some die cuts, or you can make the cards. I don't know. More Valentine's stuff than I will use, but that's okay because there's other things in here. And I'm going to go through it all piece by piece and pick out the things that I will use and I will pass along the things that I won't use. There's some other people out there that like Valentine's Day stuff. So, all right, so we have these leaves. We have these flowers. These are cute. Some more flowers. Uh, some felt birds. I don't know about those. These are pretty chunky. Chipboard stickers. Look like they came from a dollar store. Uh, we have some... Those are cute. Some borders. Some butterfly borders. That's another reason why I thought that it would be a good buy here. Uh, those are okay. Some more borders. These are like acetate like these are cute um felt heart stuff yeah those colors are eh. all right well you know it's not bad i i still think it's worth the five dollars i think i'll have five dollars worth of stuff plus the container which I was just saying the other day I wish I had another one of these so now I have one all right I have one more thing and I'm really hoping that I didn't show this in a previous video I don't think that I did but if I did <laughs> you may click off now um, if you've seen this before I don't think I have um, so is this container right here of trim yes I paid eight dollars but I probably didn't because I probably got a deal on it so it was full of all this stuff I don't know if I should even take all this out of here because I'll never get it all back in so there's some wide trim here. This has got ribbon on the bottom of it. That's pretty. There's some more of that. That's really pretty. Um, I don't know what this is. Something. Some more wide trim. 
Um, this is some kind of fringe. Yeah. I could use that on something. That might be kind of fun. The fringe. And this is a bigger fringe, which you I don't know. That's almost too big. We'll have to see if I do anything with that. And that's pretty. Um this whole bag here. I, think, I don't think this was separate. I think this was all in here. This one. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. This might have been separate. I don't know. I don't know. What the heck? Oh. I thought this was like all one piece or something. It's not. It's pinned. Now, that on the edge of a page, that would be kind of pretty. I'll have to play with that too. I don't have anything like that with the ruffle like that. I'm trying to go through this fairly quickly because I don't know what my time is like. This is a round thing. Right here. We got some black stuff here. This stuff looks old. This is cute. Uh, I got some of this. All kinds of old trims. Look at this one. Ooh. That's beautiful. I like that one. That I like that one a lot. Oh, some wide tree trunk. You know what this is? This is like to make a header for your draperies. We used to sell that where I when I worked at the fabric place. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you believe I worked at a fabric place? <laughs> I worked in the office of the wholesale division. I didn't deal with the fabric itself. Not much. But I did learn some terminology and some types of fabric and stuff. That's pretty. This is like yarn. It's like, it's cotton. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like these. That's like a, a pink, um... What do you call it? Smocking like? This is just a, this. Uh, some black lace. This is old. Oh, goodness. Something. I don't know. And this is very 70s looking. All right. Um, oh, my goodness. This is... This is... Uh, Crazy town here. All right. Now I have some white trim. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's some more. This is like smocking like that other one, only it's just the top of it. See? That's kind of cool. That tells me these, this did come together. Oops, I'm knocking stuff off my desk here. That's cute. And then there's a whole bunch of, like, just like trim. Um, well, I'm looking to see if there's anything really interesting in here. That one's kind of cool. interesting a lot of just like off-white and trims and laces What's this? there's some more of this um, there's some yellow
pink and blue like seam binding type hem tape type stuff I'm not seeing anything like uh, oh, what is this wow somebody stick that in there look at that that's kind of cool huh it's brass it's heavy what else is in the bottom of this thing Some of this flowers that's pretty I like that I like that a lot that's dainty I got some red white and blue rickrack this whole roll of this and this white that's Oh, basically it. I don't see anything like surprising or interesting. Oh, we got another bag here. There's some yellow, some purple. It's just like little. Yeah, nothing exciting in there. So this is going to be fun to sort through and um, get to looking decent and fitting in my storage. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. I love buying stuff like this to see, you know, what's in there. Um, to have a variety and get different sizes and stuff and everything. But it's... Um, <laughs> It's a lot to sort and organize and put away. All right, that, my friends, is it for this one. Uh, the rest I will save for another haul video because, uh, yeah, too much stuff, not enough time. So anyway... This. We can't wait to dig in here. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I am putting up new videos, and hit that like button for me, and please leave me a comment. I do love reading your comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye.